Today on Wrist Beards and Gear, we check out the all new Howard Benson vocal plugin from Joy Sturgis Tones. Howard Benson is a very, very decorated, famous producer, and he has produced some of my favorite albums, most notably Salesen's self-titled Beatle album, but he has also done albums by My Chemical Romance, Flyleaf, Kelly Clarkson, Three Days Grace, and many, many, many others. And now he is bringing his vocal expertise to one single plugin from Joy Sturgis Tones. And to show off that plugin, I've enlisted the help of my good buddy Hans, Dragged under bass player, and because he's the talented one in the band, he is going to perform a little thing for you guys. We're going to listen to the track, and then we're going to come back here. We're going to dissect it, and we're going to talk about it, and all things Howard Benson vocal related. So first, let's get to the tune. Together can never be close enough for me. I feel like I am close enough with you. Now that Hans has soothed you guys with his angelic voice, nicely done, Mr. Hans. Thank you. Uh, we are going to kind of go through the track and we are going to go over the processing, which I did to it, which is actually pretty minimal. So here is the DAW, here is the project, and we have two tracks. The top two tracks are the acoustic track. I had two microphones on the acoustic guitar. We then have uh, Hans's main vocal, and then we have the harmony vocal, and that is that is it. I'm gonna play you guys the isolated vocal, and then we're going to dissect what we're doing. Together can never be close enough for me. I feel like I am close enough with you. Forget the world now, we won't let them see And there's one thing left to do Okay, so for the main vocal, Hans, how do you, how do you, uh, how do you find that? How do I find... How do you find the processing and the sound of your voice? You hear it a lot, I imagine. <sighs> oh, too much. Way too much. <laughs> um, it's really subtle, but w as with the... Uh, the plugin for the acoustic, that's why I think it's so wonderful because it's so subtle, but it adds so much. Um, it's kind of like a like a nice finite pseudo layer yeah. for the vocals. So it gives it a little bit of breadth, a little bit of depth, but it's not too over the top as far as uh, layering goes. So here's what we wrestled with with the main vocal. Normally in a very sparse acoustic arrangement, we would leave it we you know, we would leave it pretty sparse. We would leave it very kind of naked sounding. However, it did need a little bit of sauce, but we weren't gonna go totally nuts with the width and the echo and huge spacey yeah. i don't know he was kind of feeling a real pulled back sparse vocal so we found a middle ground mm -hmm. uh, between some processing and some not especially with falsetto too it's kind of important to keep it right tight you gotta keep it tight tight that's the new tight tight okay so i'm gonna isolate the vocal i'm going to I have the, uh, the Howard Benson instance on the main vocal. We'll get to the harmony in just a second. I'm going to turn off the EQ, and I'm going to turn off the vocal uh, panel. And here's how it sounds like totally raw. Get the world now, we won't let them see. And there's one thing left to do. 
that the wait is over. Okay. First, I'm going to come in with the, the vocal panel. I am trimming the input just a little bit to hit the sweet spot. I have tube warmth on and I have some compression going, but I am dialing it, uh, the, the total gain back down afterwards. So I'm lowering the overall volume because it was just making it way too hot. It's a very, very aggressive, very, very aggressive uh, compressor. So I'm going to play it again and I'm going to switch it on in the middle. Love has finally shown her my way. Marry me. Today and every day. So then I'm coming in with some EQ and I'm adding a little bit of, of low end just because it's the main vocal. Forget the world now, we won't let them see. And there's one thing left to do. That's honestly all I'm doing with the initial vocal track before it hits the vocal bus. Um, again, we wanted to leave it sparse. There's going to be some processing on the bus side. But as far as the actual treatment of the vocal, um, Hans gave a great performance. Um, and it's a ribbon mic and it just uh, has this really nice sensitivity and it honestly didn't need much. Uh, I'm not even uh, trimming uh, on the output at all. So let's get to the, let's get to the harmony. Marry me if I ever get the nerve to say hello in this cafe, say you will. Okay, so for the vocal harmony, I have the the volume tucked a little bit, and we talked about a little bit about um, where we wanted the harmony to sit. If we wanted it more like a doubling kind of a thing, or to tuck to tuck into, we made this motion a lot, and this motion and that motion, and ultimately uh, it was decided to just kind of have it sitting underneath the main vocal as you kind of would with this kind of arrangement. Mm -hmm. Uh, EQ and compression is all we're doing for the harmony track. I'm going to turn this off and let you guys hear the Nike vocal. And let's isolate, let's isolate just the harmony. Marry me if I ever get the nerve to say hello in this cafe, say you will. Need some, need some, it needs some sauce, it needs some power. Meat. Yep. <clears throat> and we're gonna we're gonna add that in, uh, adding some compression. Marry me if I ever get the nerve to say hello in this cafe. Again, the reduction we're only looking at like two dB of reduction. It's not much. It's just kissing the compressor and adding some general levelness. And then I'm coming in with the EQ. Marry If I ever get the nerve to say hello in this cafe, say you will. I like that we're not doing very much. I'm adding just a smidgen of low end um, on the harmony. Honestly, while I'm here, I might actually mess with the lo-fi. Hello in this cafe, say you will. It's not bad. I actually like that a yeah. lot. You know what? I'm gonna leave that. So that's that's how it is now. <laughs> I'm gonna unsolo this. Let's hear this in context because we just we just changed it to the lo-fi part for the harmony. It's even better tucked even more. Okay, yeah. I see you, Howard Benson vocals. Mm -hmm. That's cool. But notice we're, we're, we haven't used any of the width, echo, or space yet because we're still on the individual tracks. And those are best suited for stereo processing, in my opinion. So now we're going to go over to the vocal bus. And this is where both of the vocal tracks sum before hitting our two bus. And this is where we can have some fun. 
So I'm gonna turn this on and we have basically the width, echo and space and vocals all going, but I'm gonna turn these off. And we're gonna start with the, the vocal processing. I'm gonna start back here where the harmony kicks in. If I ever get the nerve to say hello in this cafe, say you will. Again, I have some compression going and I'm turning it back down with the gain after the fact along with the uh, the tube warmth switched in. The tube warmth is adding a little bit of saturation that I'm hearing. Uh, sounds very, very nice, but I'm not adding the grit. The grit was just, it was a little much for, for this kind of thing. So now we're gonna come in with some width. The width is very, very subtle but it's gonna add, I guess it's just a little bit of coursing. Marry me, if I ever get the nerve to say hello in this cafe, say you will. It's very, very subtle, but it's flattening out the vocal. Um, do you normally, do you process your vocals ever? Like if you're in a recording situation, do you ever use width? Very small amount. Okay. Because my voice has such a high register, it sounds kind of weird if there's too much. You know? I was going to yeah. ask. Yeah, okay. So Ten if it was a lower register, yeah. you it's, might use yeah, more. Yeah, with tenors, it's like very sparse amount. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next, we have the echo. Marry me if I ever get the nerve to say hello in this cafe. Say you will. <laughs> Very, very subtle. Um, it's adding some, it's basically just delay, just a little bit of repeats, because again, I, I want some width. I don't want it in your face though, because we talked about the sparseness. Mm -hmm. uh, do you ever use delay? Only for background vocals or for, harmonies. For sprinkling? Just a little bit of this sometimes for some harmonies. But <laughs> it's also tucked like way, way in the back 40. Sure, yeah. Yeah. okay. Um, if you weren't listening for it, you probably even wouldn't hear that in, in the actual mix, but it did add some spice. Marry me if I ever get Next, we're gonna add some space. This is the this is the barbecue sauce, as it were. And I like barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna switch this on and we're gonna talk about it. Marry Get the nerve to say hello in this cafe. Say you will. Ooh, say you will. Ooh. This is adding just lots of room around the vocal. It's in danger of being a little washy, but in the context mm -hmm. of of the track, it it works. It kind of acts as a glue with the echo that is on the acoustic, I think. Mm -hmm. And it gets swallowed up a little bit with the acoustic track too, which is nice. Yeah. I like that a lot as well. Um, I have it set pretty big as far as the size, the, but the amount, I'm at 15, it's very, very small amount. You can really go overkill. Again, this is a very, very aggressive plugin. And after that on the output section, I'm not doing anything. That That is, that is it for the processing for this track. Marry me if I ever get the nerve to say hello in this cafe, say you will. Ooh. And that is Howard Benson vocals from Joey Sturgis Tones. If you would like to learn more about this plugin, which I have thoroughly enjoyed, uh, I will link down below in the description for more information huge shout out to mr hans he's the uh he's the angelic singer in the band he's also the most handsome as well not true but that's pretty true he's saying let me look at him yeah. <laughs> thanks for having me puppy. <laughs> all the pickable links down below in the description you have been wonderful i've been fluff he has been hans thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time wow another video gone by Hope it was pretty good. I mean, it's probably pretty good. But if it wasn't, <laughs> <sighs> awkward, right? <laughs>